say. I, I really can't say. I have no idea who Josh Marlowe is going to pick here. Let's find we're, out. We're going to find out. I, 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 unless it's the Marth. No. No, it is the I, Ike. And he's the, the other. And, and he's the Marth. And because there ain't no Lucina. That's right. That's right. You can't go Lucina either. That is an actual discernible difference between Echo Fighters right there. We were memeing about Daisy before. But I mean, she is she is still banned, so. Yeah. But yeah, Ike. I mean, I guess another sword character that we were expecting here. An interesting little half cross-up choice between Roy and Cloud, if you would. You know, he's got like a little bit more of that solid range like Cloud has. Not exactly the frame data to back it up. And it's still got that Fire Emblem sweetness to him. And some of those like relatively similar specials on top that he has with Roy. So Ike, definitely an interesting pick here on the part of Joss Marlu that he's forced to choose. And he, of course, with the Marth, can do some pretty yeah. good work with this character. People right here? Used to, yeah, people used to say Ike um, Cloud, like when they modded Brawl, they used to just have like put it over Ike for like Cloud. So I can see the similarities oh. with the character. Especially when it came out. And Mark does, in this matchup in particular, Mark does pretty good against the other swords. The problem is, Mark's tipper is just not that consistent. Mm. I get what you're saying. I mean, as far as Marth's buffs go, I think his I think his tippers are a lot more consistent than they used to be. Still not relatively compared to the other games. I mean, I've seen Marth players such as the likes of Kill Kel get some pretty nasty clips just by having their spacing on points. A couple patches ago, they did heavily buff the tipper, the size of the tipper hitbox on Marth's uh, on Marth's tipper in this game. But speaking of buffs, that ether. Buffed the knockback of that move quite a bit a couple patches ago as well, so you know that Joss Marlu is going to be taking advantage of that, especially since this is this, especially since this is a character that he doesn't, you know, normally play. Yeah, but he's doing really good with them. Like this Ike is not sloppy at all. No. Simple, yeah. just doing the simple nares into nair conversions, and this is pretty solid play. Ooh. Oh God. No, oh, Reggie, some, Reggie, get some deodorant for this man. That was some stanky DI. Yeah, Holy no, moly. It, it's a, it's that with Ike just hitting so hard. He, he's a strong boy. He's definitely he's a strong boy indeed. Yeah. We're, we, need, we need to see a counter out there. Yeah, and I gotta say, to echo your sentiment, I'm really loving what we're seeing from Joss Marlu's Ike so far, and it's working out in spades right here. Still up 3-1 against uh, against Endy. No joke. Gotta be even more drill going for the downer on the way back, because he's really focusing a lot of the bread and butters of Ike's right now. Fishing for those nares, getting those uppies out of shield when they get too close. He, he's honest, it's a solid Ike. You know, from watching, from watching Joss Marlu here, you would think that this, you know, maybe was his main at some point, which it very well could have been. I don't know yeah. Joss Marlu personally, yeah. so but... we don't we don't know the history. Yeah, yeah. definitely don't know the, the Joss Marlu lore, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. It, would, it might be just his main. Yeah, you know, no, he played Ike. He used to play Ike. There you go. He yeah. used to play Ike. That confirms. No, no one he gets two frames like that if you don't no. play Ike like that. Wow. Maybe it is very similar to Cloud. You remember how like he was um. Ike was in the original trailer for Cloud when he was first revealed back in Smash 4 yeah. when people were calling him an Ike clone before he, the character dropped. But let's look at this. Oh! Just straight into the blast. Beautiful. Look at the cinematography yeah, let's, let's, in that as well. Let's look, look at, at this, this again. That's a two frame because his art, he reaches for the ledge right there. Yeah. Beautiful stuff, Mike. The timing of that is immaculate. Like I said, you pointed out it was a two-frame before. You had the better eye than I have, my friend. And like I said, you definitely need to have at least some experience with Ike to be getting that. Yeah, or you're just a god, and this is our first time ever playing the character, and your yeah. just timing is just ridiculous. I don't yeah. know. He, he's gonna say, "Yeah, I never played Ike. I just, <laughs> I just flipped the coin, and it just landed on him." What kind of flex? <laughs> the Joss Marlu came out here. Yeah, you know, I mean, I just, I had to, because it's the return to subspace Brawltimate side event. Yeah. What else Mike, am I going to do? <laughs> Mike is, Mike is just godlike, all right? Money match it. I'm, I'll be walking around to offline majors. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll, like, money match this Ike real quick. I don't main him. I don't main him. Anybody want to money match a character I don't main? And speaking of... We have not seen this character in a long time. No, we have not. Definitely the least common of the links 
in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, my friend. One who is considered slept on by a lot of players, including the likes of DeBuzz. He's been he has been praising Toon Link in Smash Ultimate for quite some time. A character relatively overshadowed by his other Link universe counterparts. But we're how we're here to see what Joss Marlu is gonna be able to do. Young Link is of course banned in this event. His only other game being in melee when that character is playable. Toon Link, however, replaced him in Brawl. So here he is, Reggie. Yeah, he's out here to play. And too like okay. It's not working so hot. Not so far. From the switch off Ike, he has only done 33%. And Yeah, it, that's not a lot. And it also doesn't seem to play like any of the characters you had listed before. Yeah, that's actually a really astute observation. If I'm being completely honest, the Toon Link is definitely not similar to Roy or Cloud at all. Not, not even in terms of range is that forward air is going to take the stock. Not even in terms of range. He doesn't have Cloud range. Hardly even has Roar range when it comes yeah. to the actual disjoints on his sword. And he doesn't have Roy knockback, so... No. Instead, he's got these projectiles and spades. Yeah, he's just he's fighting for his life here. <laughs> for sure, my friend. Toon Link, however, does have some of the best bombs out of any of the links. They set up perfectly for a lot of his conversions, such as bomb forward air, which is something you're going to see Joss Marlu definitely fish for right here if his Toon Link is experienced, which so far, definitely not down in stocks as that forward air is going to take the stock instead. Trying to commentators curse me, nothing doing, says I. We're back to even, Reggie. Yeah, no, we definitely are. And using the boomerang to, as a combo started, missing the tech chase. And I like the dare to come back to stage and get a bandage back as quick as possible. But don't do too, that too many times, because then you can start seeing a punish. Oh. Love the reverse up tilt right there. That is a move that's very different than it used to be, uh, as Toon Link's aerials in his forward air and his back air. That is, Those are not the same like they were in Brawl. Some of them used to be multi-hits, and yeah, now they're just like single-hit like swings, including his forward smash, which is just Toon a Link, single throw as well. Yeah, Toon Link got a lot of changes in Ultimate, just because of like Young Link being in the game. So in animations, he's virtually a different character, Plays, but does play a lot similar. I yeah, he does. He does in a lot of ways, although I feel like one of the big differences between the two of them is that Oh, there you go. There's that single hit forward smash. We were talking about I feel like um, I feel like one of the big differences between the two of them is though is that Toon Link Unlike Young Link gets a lot of his conversions off of bombs like I mentioned before But Joss Marlu doesn't seem to be too reliant on those you know, he just seems to be beating Endy to the punch, you know, going for that classic Toon Link slow crawl. I'm going to chuck projectiles at you over and over, make you angry with those, make you impatient, get my damage, call out your jumps with Boomerang by angling those up like you see him doing right there, and then just forward smash you once and you die. Yeah, no, it, that's definitely the way. No platform for him to run away, too. Yeah, no, hey, you're just, you're just there to fight Toon Link in his environment. God knows who wants to do that. <laughs> but Andy's out here doing it. There's someone. Someone. There'll be some. There will be others. As my good friend Ray yeah. says. Ooh. Okay, makes it back. And two links bomb is the longest bomb. Other than the like links remote bomb, which he that would just take to like blow it up. And oh he's, he's my dead. god. Uh he didn't even give him the chance. Yeah. To take the second stock. It's gotta be hit him with that Johnny Test noise too. <laughs> Wait, is it the whip you mean or the Yeah, uh... the little whip. Oh god. <laughs> that was that was crazy. I mean, hey, yeah. he was up a stock and had a bomb in hand. But the bomb timing is a lot longer than the yeah, other. Yeah, no, one. he would have died. Yeah, yeah. Eight seconds, I believe, for Toon Link, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. as compared Eight to Young Link's. a long time. 